Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to KRP Creative Physics. So in this video, in this particular video, we are going to learn one unknown and interesting and new topic. So this is new to everyone. That's why I am, I, that's why I am choosing this topic here. So let's enter into the topic here before entering into the topic. So once again, I am reminding everyone here, please watch my channel. And after the watching, if you really like my channel, subscribe it and then share it to all your friends. If you, if you really like my presentation, like my videos. So that's what I want to say here. Okay, friends, let's enter into the topic here. So name of the topic is significant figures. So what is our topic here? Significant figures. So let's see what is meant by significant figures. Okay. So here already I wrote the definition. So they are the number of digits in a measured value. So they are the number of digits in a measured value. So what they will do here? Let's see. That contribute to the degree of accuracy of the value. So what does it mean here? Simply significant figures help us to know the accuracy of the measured value. So it, they indicates the accuracy of the measured value and including with this significant figures also tell us. So what are the accurate values? What are the inaccurate values in the measured physical quantity? Okay. Na? So let's uh, see one example to understand the purpose of uh, significant figures. So this is the example I am going to consider. For example, length length equal to 24.12 meters is here. So this is one measured value amount. So this is the measured value. So if we consider this particular value, what does it mean here? From this value, we are going to learn something. So what it indicates? So this 2, 4, 24 are nothing but accurate values. So 24 is accurate value. So what about 1, after the decimal point, what do we have? 1, 2, 24.12 is here. So here 1, 2 is indicating uncertain values, uncertain. So that means what? They are inaccurate. Simply they are doubtful, doubtful values. So that is the purpose of significant figures. So from this example, everyone understand very clearly regarding significant figures. I think significant figures simply they tell us that. So what are the accurate values? What are the inaccurate values in the measure in any measurement here? So that is the purpose of significant figures. Okay, friends, including this one significant figures also indicates the level of exactness of the instrument. They gives the level of exactness of the instrument by which we can measure. So it indicates the exactness or accuracy of the instrument also. That is the purpose of significant figures. Okay, now let's know the rules to find significant figures. Okay, so that means what numbers are considered as significant figures. We have to follow some rules. According to the rules, we have to decide the numbers which are considered as significant figures. So first rule one. So what is the rule one here? All the non-zero digits, all the non-zero digits are significant. Okay, na? so non-zero digits means what here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are all are considered as significant. That's it. Next we will consider rule two. All the trapped zeros, trapped zeros. So what does it mean here? All the trapped, trapped zeros are significant. So what does it mean here? What are mean by trapped zeros here? It is very simple. The zeros which are comes in between non-zero digits. The zeros in between non-zero digits are considered as trapped zeros. Let, uh, let's see one example here. So 1004 is there. So these two zeros are in between non-zero digits. So they are said to be trapped zeros. All the trapped zeros are also considered as significant figures. That is a second rule. Okay, now these two are very easy. So now we will see third rule. Okay, now third rule is related to what here? Uh, third rule is related to leading zeros amount. Leading zeros. Leading zeros. So what is mean by leading zeros here? The zeros which are comes in the beginning of the number, the zeros which comes in the beginning of the number. So we will consider one example here, 0 0.01 is there. So these particular two zeros are leading zeros. The zeros which are coming beginning of the number, they, these two zeros are coming beginning of the number. So these two zeros are said to be what here? Leading zeros. But in case of leading zeros, all the leading zeros are 
not significant they are not significant figures so these particular leading uh, leading zeros are not considered as significant figures so, okay friends let's see the last and fourth rule here this particular fourth rule is related to trailing zeros trailing zeros so what is meant by trailing zeros the zeros which comes the zeros which comes end of the value end of the measured value if you can uh, i will give an example for that one here for example we have 0.0100 is there so these two zeros are comes at the end of the value so this particular ending zero simply ending zeros are said to be trailing zeros okay so in case of trailing zeros we have two methods again we have two methods first in case of decimal point in case of decimal point decimal point all the trailing zeros are considered as significant once again i am repeating here so if decimal point is there in any value and in that case all the trailing zeros all the trailing zeros are considered as significant so i will give one example for that one 0.0010 are there so this is the trailing zero so it is considered as significant so why because we have decimal point here okay na? so this particular zero even though it is trailing zero it is considered as significant figure why because here we have decimal point so this is regarding in case of decimal point so in case of no decimal point that means we didn't have any decimal point then all the trailing zeros are not considered as significant figures so they are not considered as significant figures so let's say example here so 200 is there what do you have 200 is there so here we have, don't have any decimal point so these two zeros are trailing zeros so they are not considered as significant so why because there is no decimal point so if decimal point is there means they should be considered here no decimal point there is there is no decimal point that's why this particular two trailing zeros are not considered as significant figures okay so this is the rule four so let's see the rule five here it is very very simple here 10 power is not significant 10 power for example when we are going to find any value 2.3 into 10 to the power of 5 so that is part one particular value so this particular 10 to the power of 5 is not considered as significant digit significant number so it is not considered as significant number only we have to consider this two as significant numbers 10 powers are not considered as significant numbers okay na? so this is what you should keep in your mind these are the five rules to find the number of significant figures in any given value we should follow these rules okay okay friends let's see the examples to find the number of significant figures okay na? so this is example one if we consider this particular example one here we have decimal point you should observe the decimal point and how many significant figures are there non-zero digits are two they are significant these two zeros are trapped zeros they are also significant figures and this is leading zero so it is not considered as significant figures so how many significant figures are there here overall four we have four significant figures if we observe the example two here this is decimal point is there so these are all the two non-zero digits so they are significant and what about this one this is trailing zero in case of decimal point it is also significant so these two are leading zeros they are, they are not considered as significant how many we have three total three significant figures okay na? so let's see this one here so if we consider this particular one so in case here, what do we have here decimal point is there and here these are the trailing zeros so what they are trailing zeros but here these two zeros are trapped zeros here so these two are trapped zeros so these two are significant and this one is also significant it is a trapped zeros and so they are also considered as significant so how many significant figures are there in this one here overall we have five okay friends in case of example four it is very clearly known that trapped zero is significant and non digit non zero digits are significant so how many we have three significant figures okay now so this is in this way we can find the significant figures according to the rules here so if we consider this one 10 to the power is there it is not considered as significant okay now remaining how many digits are there only two digits they are non-zero say so they are significant how many significance in this one two significant numbers are there okay now so if we consider this particular example these are all our leading zeros so these are all are not significant only one significant figure is there so that is nothing but four okay now so next if we consider this one this is the trapped zero and this is significant remaining are non-zero digits they are also significant so how many we have four 
in this way we can find very very easy and if you consider this one these are all are leading zeros they are not significant only four is a significant so how many significant figures are there only one and if we consider this one this is a trapped zero so it is significant non zero digit significant and trailing zeros in case of decimal point also significant so how many we have 1 2 3 4 5 five significant figures and last example of if you observe the last example so here decimal point is there and this is non zero so it is considered as trapped zero so it is significant this one is also significant so this particular three trailing zeros in case of decimal point also significant so everything is significant in this one how many we have 3 plus 2 5 five significant figures okay friends i hope everyone understand how to find out the significant figures with the help of that five valuable rules okay so by this class i explained what is my significant figures what is the purpose of significant figures and how to find the significant figures uh, with all these uh, uh, useful examples okay thank you thank you everyone for listening my class here please watch my channel and share my channel to your friends and if you re really like my videos give one like if you have any doubt keep the comment in your comment box use that comment box so this is what i want to say take care of your health bye we will meet in next video bye everyone